All righty. So I'm also opening up the chat too. In case you didn't want to really talk, you just wanted to drop a message in there. All right, fellas. Like uh, like I was saying before, this is just going to be like our coding session. We're going to talk over about the project and offer some ideas. I'm going to try to explain the, uh, the slide here that you see, as well as fill in the, fill in the blank information uh, that we need here. As I said, Graham's here. And of course, everyone uh, just chime in wherever you want. But again, this is more of a, a session. So I'm just going to use this block of time to, again, like I said, go over this and do some coding. Uh, we can work a little bit specifically on uh, how to get some of these Bodo. Uh, photo calls to you convert to our Python call. I tried this earlier and this worked a little bit, but what I'm missing is the HTML context in which I can put my connect method in, in this particular situation. Also, of course, if anybody has any ideas or anything that they want to see, just Roger it up. All right. With that being said, I'm about to kick it off. All right. So to go over this for those who missed this yesterday, um, what happens is Skyflower sends when it goes to activate a path and it goes to create a EC2 node. It first sends to the first mile a gateway access information. And that basically tells it what gateway to, to go out next. It sends a create EC2 node request via Bodo calls. Then what in the real world, these Bodo calls would make instances, these EC2 instances, and then you would get the information from the instance, and then you would use it according to the path. What we are doing is we're faking uh, the creation of the instance. We're using the same Bodo calls, but those Bodo calls, aka uh, create key pair, for instance, or you know, one of these other real Bodo calls, get host, get regions, all of these, for instance, they translate into a uh, PyViomi call. And Mark, that's where that's where you come in. Or I should say that's where we're that's what we're trying to uh, do emulate. Uh, so when when we emulate that, what we need to do is Bodo three. What it's going to do is going to call out to vCenter for uh, that is going to create a node. But before that, it's actually going to call to the region router to get a, an IP address. That's probably be a better way of doing it. I'm just trying to do this in the uh, logical fashion. Uh, yeah, and then because it needs this IP information. Uh, see. I'm doing this on the fly, guys. Let's see. Let's see. And where it originally got this IP address, so let me start up uh, real quick. Sorry, I totally forgot. But one of, uh, this is 
Uh, let me just do a quick overview of our project. I don't know if everyone has seen this, but th this is what the sandbox home homepage looks like. You go to instant management. Maybe. Hold on. Just go. I thought my box is freezing up. Come on, baby. It's taking a break. All right. So we're going to go back to what the uh, what the web page looks like. Uh, but but currently I'm working on uh, like this uh, service status page and the the region page right here. And this is what they'll look like when they're complete. I come back up. What the hell? Sorry. I think we found this out last time. We just need to be patient, which is hard. Didn't you have to kick it yesterday? I just did, yeah. Just turned it on. Did have to kick it. Oh. Uh oh, user error. Uh, because I'm in a different network, it's it's the different IP. User error. Yeah, here we go. I was trying to use my home, my home one. All right, here we go. All right, fellas. This is what the home page looks like. Instant uh, assist management. Specifically, where that information for uh, to query for the router. So when Skyflower is going to send send this request, it's going it, it will ask in the request for the region to uh, put it in. And what will happen is, as we have this drop down menu right here to show when it chooses a region, one of these IPs, and there's a list of IPs that you can choose, but one of these IPs will be the submitted joints, or I'm sorry, queries for, and then the region router will give it an IP. And then that that's going to bundle up in the request to, um, because we're going to need uh, that request to actually build the instance. Uh, return request. Yeah. Just trying to figure out from return request. Yeah. All right. And vCenter, so now vCenter is going to need. What is vCenter going to need? vCenter is going to need. I think Mark figured it out. What, what was it, Mark? Do you remember? 
Uh, you're gonna have to be more specific. Figure out what. Um, so we needed to create. I think there was. You said that we needed to create a AMI. Uh, it was the stuff that Bodo, the Bodo had called that we need to pass on to. Uh, whoops. Pass on to the uh, uh, V Center to create this instance. Uh, you're talking about the uh, image ID, the instance type, that sort of yeah. thing? Yes. Where, where was that at? Was that in code? Uh, no, I actually updated a little bit some of the scripts um, and pushed them out a little bit. So you asked me to look at the Bodo client code. So Correct. client doesn't directly use re, uh, dot, dot get region. It uses um, dot clients. EC2 comma region name, and then you it declare the region. So it's run instance is a little different. For, uh, from the code I was seeing, it looked like it was actually using Bodo 2, despite the fact that you imported Bodo 3 and it worked. So I think there's some backwards compatibility weirdness going on. Oh, uh, uh, real yeah. quick in this yep. in this uh, particular, so this is where we're pulling this, this uh, Bodo code from. So I just went to the AWS doc examples and they're they're pulling everything here, and you're correct. They they made a new class, uh, and it just wrapped the EC2 client in there. Jeez, you gotta love and, that. And uh, well, no, no, it, and it's only bringing in the resource. So that's what I was saying. It it just needs to, as as you just stated, uh, image here. Here it is. Yep, it just needs the image, uh, instant type, and key pair. Same thing. It's 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 yeah. So that's what I was saying. Where this this is what uh, will be called, right? Mm. And then we're going to serve it up the image, instant type, and key pair. But these are going to be hard coded, okay. and specifically, it's going to get the information from when we do the drop down here. So whenever we do a drop down here and select the distro, blah blah blah, we won't have a number of the cores. What was the other one, Graham? Do you remember? What did I say we needed to pass? You figured it out yesterday. For the uh, for the for the region and the public IPs, I, that was it. We were just we were only removing the vCenter stuff. I know we were only removing, but I thought there was and something the there. instance configuration. Let me go to my notes. There was something you reminded me of, and I was like, yes. Uh, I mean, we have to pass back eventually the um, NATed IP and the public IP because we're only pulling the network. We're requesting an IP in that specific network, but we don't have the actual IP. So, I mean, we have to pass that back, but I don't think there was any other drop downs that we had discussed. Not that I can remember anyway. Yeah, maybe correct. Maybe not drop down. Maybe I was just thinking it's another value that we had to pass that had to be hard coded that I didn't think of at the time. That's what I'm trying to remember. That's what I'm thinking. I think it was like literally I thought it was like a different value that you were like, oh, yeah, hey. How are we going to get this? And I was like, oh, shit, we need to pass that as a hard coded value. Let's look at the code. Okay. We'll, we'll we'll double back. We'll double back. Go there. Let's let's kind of finish out this design concept. So uh, those things. So we need image, SM type, and key pair. And security group is going to come default. So we're going to overload this function, right? We're going to import this in, and, but these are the three things it needs. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. Uh, so, and these are the things uh, that will be needed. The image insight. And then when, when it hits our Bodo, right, and looking for these three things, and we're going to overload that function with 
right? We're going to overload this function with the uh, vCenter, the vCenter information. Just want to see something real quick. Yeah, because yeah, create instance. Yeah. Because it's the ECTU resource that actually has the create instance method in it. It's not the client one. Well, I'm sorry. The client one is its parent class. That right quick. Resource. Come on. I didn't get an ST. Let's see. Oh, it's the only one. Oh, is it? Oh, duh. That's all this pile does. Sweet. All right. So, right, it's overloading. It's pulling, you know, from about 03 and overloading that 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 instance from uh, resource. And it's pulling specifically these three things that we need to send. Then we're going to overload this function with the VMware. And I'm about to pull that up right now. Uh, I'll load that with uh, where did where is where's your code uh, mark is it on the server code where's your code mark server code no which code are you talking about uh, uh so uh, the so we, this one right we need uh the oh yeah, oh, yeah. the what so right so right now right we are in just going over the the flow. What's going to happen is, as I stated before, these are the things that Bodo needs to, to get past his gray line. Is going to need these three things. But in the Bodo code, which I just pulled up, um, we're going to overload this create function. So it's going to call this create function, and it needs these three things. We're passing in these three things, but then hard coded here, here, in here not in here, in here, what we're going to overload this function with, because we're going to call this function and then overload it, uh, will be the things for VMware, uh, these things. Shit. Is this your connect? Is this it? Who's this? Is this, this mine? No, that's mine. That's a connect. So, you, can, you can find uh, most so of the yeah, stuff yeah. it's uh, talking about in the... Um... Right. So uh, actually, one... actually, no. Hold on. This is uh, this is Graham stuff. Mine oh, is okay. in uh, backend scripts. Uh, backend scripts. Got yeah, it. that's it. I use his code as sort of a basis to that. But if you want awesome. to look at most of the uh, stuff, the include is yeah. where a lot so of the backend need... stuff I'm using. So right now, I need to do the one that uh, creates. Which one? Create VM. This one, right? Create yep. VM from template. Yeah. Sweet. So, so that we would overload that function with this. Right, we would take those parameters in um, and then we would also then run this function with those parameters plus the hard coded ones that we need in here. We don't need all of these though, do we? Uh, that's what the example came with. Um, not okay. sure about the folder, but you do need the data store, the cluster name, I think you do need as well. I think it's just because it's looking for a specific template to do it. The create VM itself doesn't need nearly as much, but it's not creating from a template that you have to identify. So there is sort of a difference Can we there. Not throw a template in there? Is that not a? It's not. A, it doesn't seem like it's a simple um, use template, like an extra parameter you pass in. From what I can see. Since I think it actually has to walk through the data center and find the VM it's cloning from. Yeah. The specific template. And that's the problem. It's not as easy as just saying use um, this imported template. It actually has to walk through your uh, data store and actually find um, the source template. And I think that's why it's taking a little bit longer. And it has VM folder and data cluster in there since it actually needs to work its way down through the structure. So can I run this right now? Uh, this, this one's untested. I haven't had a chance to test oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it yeah. probably isn't that hard, but I'm willing to bet a lot of that could be hard coded. I know, yeah. uh, like, just like with um, 
the data center name, we eventually decided that was hard coded. We could probably um, also hard code VM folder and the cluster name because the cluster right, name right, is right, always right. going to be like SV and all that stuff. Not yeah, sure about resource pool and all that stuff, but yeah, there's a fair amount of that that can be hard coded. I'm willing to bet we're going to have to pass in the same amount of stuff we'd have to pass in for uh, create VM at the end of it. So it shouldn't be that much um, more confusing unless we have a radically different structure for our um, uh, vSphere. But I don't think, but as long as we're keeping it like at least the way we had it before, where it's just like one cluster, we're using data store, the the yeah. second one, SB2, I, I think it was. I can actually get to it from here. Yeah. As long as we're using just like the same structure and we don't have anything fancy going on or care where the um, stuff is generated at, I think we'll be fine. But that that adds a little extra to it. We, we can probably care about that after we actually get like a test run going. When you say a test run going, what do you mean? Uh, a full pass through of actually getting it to work. Like I'm talking like when a person um, actually uses the front end client to push a button to walk through to call the script that calls Bodo, which in turn calls out to vSphere, all that. Basically an entire walkthrough of that first um, slide you were talking through. Once we get that going and that's good, then we can sort of like work on the specifics of like where things are placed and make sure things are cleaner. At least that's the way I would approach it, but. Yeah, give, give me one second. For some reason, our server is down. Give me one second. Sure. What was up with our server? Oh. Uh, I think because it's I'm on the corporate uh, Wi-Fi. Let's see. Can I turn off my phone? All right, uh, give me one second, fellas. I might lose you. Yeah, I might lose y'all, so just give me bear with me. All right. Yeah, no, let's see if this will work now. All right. Can y'all see me? Yeah. 
Okay. Yep, you're back. All right, sweet. Sorry about that. All right, good. And I got and y'all can see everything, right? All right, let me hit the record. Oh no, it's never stopped recording. Sweet. All right. All right, go right here. So VMware, this is administrator. Hello. Hey. Sandbox It's the keyboard walk one down, two down, shift one down, shift two. All right. So back to uh what you were saying though, Brian. Let's sorry, Mark. Let's go here. Where the fuck? Oh, I'll kill this one. This one. Here we go. I think on my local server. Let's see if that came back up. Oh, local host. All right, sweet. All is well in the world. OK. So going back here, you're saying. Um, what are you saying that? You don't know if this is going to work right? Yeah, that one's untested. I adapted that from one of the examples, but I haven't had a chance to go in and test it. So I suspect, like I said, a lot of it will end up being hard coded, similar to how create VM is. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see a lot of the stuff that would be used is automatically there. Yeah, it should be in main. Ah. Yeah, you scroll all the way bottom there. So yeah, ES uh, XIP is going to be the dot twenty seven. Data center's name is SB. Data store is the underscore two. Okay. So, yeah, so that stuff's going to be hard code, and I have a feeling it's going to be very similar for the um, some of the other stuff in there in create uh, VM from template as well. Um, is the template always going to be the same? Or are we uh, going to have separate yes. templates? Yeah, yeah, the template okay. is always going to be the same. All right, so that would just... basically be a hard coded path to something. Yeah, so you yeah. see the cluster name would be SB underscore cluster. That would be hard coded. Right. And, and then the template, here's the template folder. And, okay. and the templates are already in, in there. The Ubuntu template, there's a BIOS, a router. This is going to be the router template. Okay. The Ubuntu template, this is going to be the, uh, is that, how do you want to name it? This is going to be for the, uh, the instances. Yeah, it's naming is fine as long as it identifies itself as a template. Yeah. So, so if it's got temp or template or something in there that says, yeah, this is a template, it's fine. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so yeah you can call as long as it identifies itself, you can call it whatever so, you want. And it just needs to be uh, hard coded into the script. So, yeah, there it is. Okay. So, we'll, 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 we'll try to do that one now. I'm going to quickly go over this, though. Environment, I hadn't really kind of set this out just yet. Uh, this is going to be our command and control. We're on the Bodo server right now. Um, I'm just calling it Bodo just because that's, that's the first thing it hits and it's really calling out to Bodo and Bodo's running all of this stuff on the back end. So that's why we named it that. All right. Um, this is going to, this is the, we need this. <laughs> the SA, uh, SR, I'm sorry. Not this. This is this can go away, right? This was the code server that we were trying to, yeah. Right, this can go away, right, Mark? Because I think that's the one that I'm trying to remember what we use that. Yeah, for. I know. Um, me too. Me too. I, yeah, I think we're not using that anymore for yeah, uh, because we have like a repo now. Yeah, yeah, we um, got time for that. So, not yeah. necessary. I don't even think we have anything on there that's worthwhile. So, no, nah, I don't either. That's so why I was like, yeah, I don't remember anything. Everything that we that we looking at was on a photo server. Yeah. Well, I need to put I need to push push current one there. Uh currently we're just using the photo server as you just stated. Uh let's go ahead. Um sorry. 
uh, not the build a server, just uh, VMware, just to get start building up the uh, infrastructure, just to get it going. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can get rid of this folder. So it's for why is that even there? Okay, I have to. Anyway, don't worry about that. And uh, so uh, the B Center is what's housing this and um, BIOS. We need this because this is our connection to the internet. And what we're going to have out in the environment, we haven't built it yet. I'm trying to do that right now. It's going to be all the region routers. So sorry for those of my taking notes while we're. So we need the region routers in there. I think that's it, because the, the instances will join uh, region. Let's go back to this and kind of finish this out a little bit more. Store this region. Trying to think what information is going to be. Information from the region request, not the this is. And then. Let's see, this is overloaded. Oh, no. Create, create function with this to center. Create. The hell is this doing? What did you call it? Line. We called it create. Create not. Create VM. Yeah, when you say overload, are you talking about? So th this yeah. the uh, the function right here. Uh, so we're gonna so right. I'm gonna make a new. I'm gonna make a new function with that function in it. That's what I mean by overloading. Yeah, I'm just trying to double check to see you meant overloading yeah. and not wrapping it. So I was just trying to make sure. So we're overloading it. What are the different functions um, going to do each version? Uh, so the first the first one, great question. So for Boto, when uh, we need to, we don't have a create. We don't have a create one for Boto, for instance, but let's let's go with the start. Wait a minute, we can't do that. We gotta go for the go for run. Uh, start and stop are new ones I just added a little while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do is run synonymous to create? Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. So right. So when it calls this uh, run, the whatever that that function is, we're gonna have the 
VMware function. So VMware, VMware function here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's how Bodo connects to it is when Bodo creates its um instance Correct. itself, it's the one who calls out and then creates exactly. it from that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, okay. So that that does explain one of the things I was wondering about of where Bodo connected to those scripts on the back end. So yeah, it, one thing you might yeah, so one thing you might want to do with this one is just for the yeah. sake of sanity, you might want to put where the user interface is um, for the front yeah. end on here as well. Because I assume it's like at Skyflower Create or at least oh, before right. that for when a person like clicks the button. You know what correct, I mean? Correct, correct. This is this is somebody clicking the activation button. This okay. right here. Okay. Do you want no? I like that idea though. You want to call that out? Yeah, that's definitely something but, you want to do because someone might be confused about like if there's any additional steps in there. Like if you click the button, does anything else happen before Skyfrowler or create EC2 VPS happens? So that's definitely something. Oh, um, correct, correct. Yeah. No, 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 no. Correct, correct. So uh, you are correct because before, so uh, it has to build out the net VM. So when you... When you click activate, there's a whole bunch of stuff happens before this happens. Is that what okay. you're saying? Yeah, that, that's we should have um, a complete flow through. So everything from well, say I click the button to create um, yeah. an instance or whatever, and everything from that going all the way through the creation of the VM and vCenter and all that. Oh no no no, we have that. Sorry sorry. Yeah yeah, we have that right here. So this is, uh, this is uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, as long as we can um, identify, tell people and have them identify exactly where the front end comes into all this. This is the front end right here, this white box. I'm glad you said that. Okay. Yep. Yep. I agree. God damn it. It's always something, right? Yeah, right. And it's, it's always me and freaking Microsoft. That's usually what the something is. I hate that they're both white. We need to. Oh, a little wrong with it. Is that is that clear? Uh, yeah, user interface or um, yeah, 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 because user interface really... interaction. You know, as long as it's yeah. indicate, yeah, you could have that up there, and it's just um, as long as you indicate that that's where the user clicks a button or does something or calls. As long as that, and you can simply turn around and point it out and says, when the user clicks a button, this is the flow that happens. Since you want to have it from the absolute start, because there might be people who may not be able to make the connection or might question if there's something else happening between the click of the button and uh, the path creation. No. So as, long, so as no. long as we indicate that that's not the case, then we're good. No, I like that. Let's uh, activate. Let me go. Oh, you're right. ACT. Activate. There we go. That's exactly uh, what's happening at that stage. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for that, Mark. All right. Anybody else have any uh, questions or any curiosities about what's going on? Because we're, we're not totally finished yet, of course. All right. Uh, so you saw that piece. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we, we would call in our VMware, right? And then what we discovered yesterday, thank God for Graham. And uh, Brian, y'all knocked this out because I couldn't. This would bother me because I knew we could do it. But anyway was to call in what where the hell was it was a crate keep here well we we created this just real quick you know just to be uh testing out our coding skills which suck on my part i'm not talking about anybody else's uh anyway here it is but specifically up at top 
how we imported it in. So this is how we're going to import. You see from that file, for instance, Mark just giving you an example. Uh, and then that function. We could have just did uh, import up to here as we uh, figured out. And then this function is already within this file. And we had to do we had to do the what do they call this uh, absolute path? Graham figured it out. Because uh, uh, yeah, because uh, where I was trying to, I, I don't was just trying, But uh, it was yeah, well, you don't have to remember. But anyway, you you can't. It, oh, it's a knit die pie. That's what it was. Remember, you you should remember. Anyway, Graham figured out that we had to have this init die pie just to actually use the directory in itself, and then depending upon where the code is, where our code is, it was up, what, like five levels? Here it is, app.py. We had to go scripts, there's one, photo scripts, that's two, online, that's three. So we had to keep going on down, and then create key here is the actual file that has these functions. Now, you know, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, you know, one uh, VMware file, it's gonna have all the functions in Mark, you know what I'm saying? It'd be connect, it'd be create, it'd be stop, start, blah, 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 blah. It'd be all of these, right? Instead of all these individual, or we could do it that way too. You know, we could just, uh, wait, how did we figure that out? Can we do it from the folder? Or did we have to call out each file? Do y'all remember? Graham and Brian. Did we have to go all the way down to key, uh, create key pair? Yeah, you had to go all the way down. Shit. So it's best just to eventually yeah. get one file, one Python file to call from. Okay. I, I would have a ton of import statements before I combined all of those Python files together. No, 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 no. My bad. One file that calls all all those files. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, we could. We yeah, could yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. By that. I mean, we talked about another way of doing it where you do the import sys and then you have to set a path environment variable. Oh, and, yeah. and then you would be able to call like everything yeah, like across the board. Down. But okay. I mean, I'm that's, that one down. that's extra steps. Yeah, but yeah, but it might be a learning experience. It might be needed. I'm glad we got this to work. This is, you know, this is awesome. Uh, I'm going to take that note down. Um, I'm just taking these notes for myself, so. I don't remember what the hell I was doing. All righty. Yeah. So now we're really at the part of, oh, well, you know, let's let's continue this. Overload it, create with request, vCenter. So let's go look at the vCenter code. Uh, Back in scripts. Let's create VM from template. Can we try some of these? That's a little one. Um, the, these these scripts. Hey man, it's your yeah. We can do whatever you want. I guess what I'm trying to say is, is it ready to just hit run? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So yeah, we just gotta go plug those in. See, I like that though. Look at Mark. Got us some uh 
The goo is about to kill me. All right, that's so why I fucking hate Gooey Show. Which one's good, Mark? The Crate VM? It's already set. Crate VM should work. Sweet. <laughs> what are you coming over here for? Are you looking at my shit? Great VM. I don't think so. Not do it though. Uh, I didn't like that. Yeah. All right, so close. Parts right now. Oh, nice. right, one more time. One more time. Oh. Said that it parsed, but I thought we did. Uh, What'd you break? Your code is junky, yo. Who wrote it? this shit? <laughs> uh, I really am just trying to find the fucking run button there. Come on. Oh, here we go. It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't break anything. Your code is janky, bro. No, no it's, you, you well, gotta run it because it's going to ask you for the host, the user. Well, the it, 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 you know, it's not hard coded anymore. Remember, oh, I said it was supposed to use command line parameters. You're not providing it host, user, or yeah, path. yeah. I thought right, right. I thought it you was hard coded, but we shouldn't hard code. I see, code I see that. these things right here. I those see them are, right here. Those are hard coded. Look down where it says uh, uh, "Get vSphere Connect." Notice how host, username, and password <laughs> are not there. Yeah, so <laughs> you, you, you there, are bro. you are technically correct. You got, I do, you got me there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, well, it's two you things. Number one, you do yeah, need yeah, to yeah. actually call via command line. But number hey, right. you got to give up on that one, man. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What but, can but, I do? Yeah, but what number two, uh, let's see, host, user, uh -huh. password are not being passed. So, um, okay. it would be, um, <laughs> let's see, in this case, it would be, uh, you'd have to put host equal args dot host um, parentheses. Or, uh, let's see. So you know what? Uh, you're using the most recent code. Let me just. I can, yeah, yeah. I was, I was gonna I say. Can, it up. Yeah, yeah. Give, go ahead. Give buddy. me a second. I'll just fix go that. Ahead, so do it. Let's go on that. Let me find the code. Hey, while he's doing that, why don't you check out the new incense page?
Okay, I pushed it up. So just do a pull, refresh, and you should be good. All right, I'm about to check it out right now, buddy. All right. Let's see. Do I? Yeah, my buddy it's not here. I think I can just do. Well, let me just do it in uh, via command line. I don't like doing it. Y'all know me. I don't put it. Let's do it. Sandbox. I think you could just do get restore. Yeah, me too. So in VS Code, oh, my bad, because you could do it from the command. Bring up the terminal in VS Code. Sorry, uh, I was trying to help somebody else in the office. <laughs> I'm not a developer either, but uh, I'm just reading. I'm just reading the. I'm just reading what it says. Bianca, hook it up. <laughs> don't you dare put that on. <laughs> don't, put that, don't put that booty on. <laughs> uh, Ron, do another pull. I made a mistake. Oh, with, pull? Yeah, no worries. I, no worries. I call it a okay. username instead of user. That's all that's good. What I, that's what I get for that's copying good, code. <laughs> Copy pasta. Exactly. <laughs> It's all good, buddy. That's yeah. That's not the way programming works. We don't just copy <laughs> existing code and modify it. You know, we we we, we reinvent the wheel with every single project. It's that's exactly not what we the do. Way it works. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. So you should be good as long as you're um, passing command line parameters to it for those three variables. You you should be good. So I forget how you do that with um. This IDE, so that'll oh, be. Oh wait a minute, do we? Yeah. Have, but we don't. Oh, wait a minute, I'm my bad. Uh, I told you wrong. We don't need to pass the variables. I needed those hard coded. My bad. No, you need them hard coded now. Okay. Correct. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. You're, you're, uh, well, let me confirm this first. We, you, you're absolutely sure you want to hard code a username and password into the script for this? Again. Yeah. Uh, yes, only okay. because only because it's only going to be served on server side. The mm -hmm. user won't see this. Can we store the creds in the database instead and just oh. use the secret? Yes. Yeah, that will be a lot easier. We'll but do something yes. online. For the for the time being, I recommend you just use it as is and just pass yeah, it. Yeah, let's in. do but, that. Let's but do that. Yeah, I I do think story at least in the database will give it at least some level of obscurity. Or yeah, um, yeah, let's let's do the hard coded right now database for a long term. Yeah, um, if I remember it right, typically the way you would do it is you'd store it in the database with a encryption that would compare it to that i, I forget but yeah, we'll right. we'll figure yeah out. i'll uh i'll Don't work that side that. we'll encrypt with salts yeah It'll be fun. It's either sha1 or sha236 or whatever something doesn't need to be like the end of the world type encryption it just needs to be not plain text i think and not hard coded it's not a good idea to do that. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, but right now we're going to do it in database for future. Okay. Okay. So do you want me to uh, hard code it and change the parameters, or do you want to just run it by passing uh, the variable or the parameters right now. OK, no worries. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, brain fart. 
Uh, I, I guess for the cool. time being, uh, I just pass the variables as it is. So host would be uh, 10, 10, 10, 3. Yeah. Username is administrator at sandbox.local, and it's passwords that one down, two down, shift one down, shift two down. Easy as that. You just have to add those to the parameters oh, when idiot. executing the script. So I'm I for, just... I, no, that's, I know you can do it, but I'm not familiar with how to do it with this specific IDE. So it's probably right click and change execute parameters or something. I thought we had this already. That's not you, not you. My bad. I thought I, me, me. Um, and a lot of changes, but I just use it for the Wait, one second. Yeah, uh, this one. Oh. Yeah, you see, too. The shutdown like now. So I'll hit back H. Who, who did this? That's me. Got to the damn. All of those in scripts to test. Yeah, we're going to have to put these. We're going to have to get these going. Okay, sorry. They don't work. That's what. That's the point. I like that they don't work good. Yeah, there's placeholders. It's fine. Well, I mean, them them not working means we got work to do. That's a good way to look at it. Uh, there was... All right. Okay, Wait. having a brain fart. Wow. Back in scripts. Yeah, you used to doing all the best. Oh, no. Uh, it's just all. It's Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Where the fuck did I put that? There it is. Because right. I, I knew I had built a uh, built one, right? Why do you still have hands? They they Well, because we never um we never I don't know. Yeah, that happens. All right, let's see. Uh, where is my opponent? Just take this out. Sweet. Oh. We're good, hey?
Uh, we didn't bring in sis. I don't know if that uh, is that going to matter. Yeah. OK. Yeah, import sys. This should be fine. And we can work on the Pyvomi things later. Those might be coming in from Sandbox include. Curious why that's not resolving sure. exactly, but that might be a pathing thing. You yeah, might want to check in. You might want to check in the sandbox include file to see if that's resolving. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, you not have sandbox? Okay, yeah, it's there. Sandbox include. That's interesting. It's not resolving. So yeah, what the fuck? Can you import uh, Pi of Omi? It is. It's by amazing. itself. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, 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 but but I know now. I like the. I like your. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's see if we can. Yeah. That's wrong. Just fucking fine. Oh, Okay, so it's definitely there. Yeah, interesting. I mean, it's the same path. I don't know, it's not resolving. Very, very interesting. Python 3, maybe? Oh. All right. This is interesting, though. Who cares? Let's, <laughs> let's make this thing work. <laughs> let's make this thing work. All right. Let's get a here. The current connection. Oh, so it's recently. And then, what was SSL context? Where'd you set this up? Uh, you did this one, right, Mark? Is there one for. Um... That's the one um, Graham and I decided on that would actually work. Um, that's what, just the basic the connection. What's, what's the verify mode? Oh, never mind. I see it. It's right below. I'm blind. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Cool. All right. I think we're good. It so should be I, good as long as you're uh, passing in the variables the right way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, yes. So it should work. And I'm guessing that Create VM will work anyway without those specific parts of that module importing. Because I have a feeling yeah. that your IDE is actually importing it as a whole. And resolve well, that's, that's my guess because it's not yeah. turning um, anything but, in the code red from that when it references true. them. You so. are one hundred percent right, and I think this happened to us yesterday. And we assume, to your point, that we assume when we got this "quote unquote" warning because it's not an error that it wasn't working. But as we just saw, when it execute because it's going to execute that Python, it is working. Because huh. that's what I brought up here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We need, what's the other one called? V, v model. Okay. 
Yeah, I, um, a friend of mine, uh, Brody Chief of Brookstone, I believe, is that Randall? All right, whatever. I think you're right. I think let's just go ahead and run it. Run it hit running. Running the code. What time is it? Okay. All right, sweet. Remove the R parse code, everything above that, because oh, it's God. still going to yell at you. You might have hard coded it, but you still got to remove right, that right, R right, parser right. is going to yell at you. So yeah. every, literally everything from, yeah, args up to parser. Yeah, that and yeah, all that. Just block it out. OK, now it'll run because I don't think it has any references since you have hard coded everything. Sweet. And, and we know this works because I've demonstrated to you before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Once again, yeah, we know this works as a standalone right now. We're obviously making sure it is still does that with the hard coded, and then we're going to put it, we're actually going to put it in the app. You know what I'm saying? We're going to uh -huh. put it on uh, one of these pages. Well, that's that's the plan. Uh, or I should say when one of one of our pages is called, uh, if I got to do another pull, uh, I might need to hook me up with an easy oh, button, Graham. Like a uh, what kind of easy button? Like a te uh, like a test create, and that uh, will take our default ones. Basically, literally what I'm coding up right now, and we just push that one button. That's going to call this function. Uh, okay, so that's going to be your deploy node, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where is that? At? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That button, correct. In in that column. I um, guess. Remember that input validation you wanted me to do? Yeah. Find you in the ass now, huh? Well, make that same button without <laughs> input validation. <laughs> yeah, that's Ajax. I don't know enough to comment that out. Yeah, that's Ajax. What do you mean? Make the same button without input validation. I'm confused. What are you talking about? So copy the button. This. Okay. Make a button. <laughs> well, no, we don't need one with input validation. That's what I'm saying. So, correct. Don't wor don't worry about Ajax. Make a button that's going to call a function. Cool. It, oh, the one that I'm creating right now. I need you to make the button. Uh, what the hell are we calling this? Uh, it's going to come from. It's got to come from app.py. You got correct. Correct. Yes. The function. Give me one second. Uh, create. Instance create? Yeah. But specifically, it's going to call out the create function. Instance okay, create. It's going gonna, it's gonna to call that route. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Yep. So we can actually just call that create. No, 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 no. My bad. I, wanted, I want the route to be called instance create because under the instance, in the in the real world, when this actually does happen, right? We want that to be true. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let's create a whole new one. You're right. Let's don't fuck with this. I, no. I have one. Oh no, yeah, don't mess with that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. We're just gonna call one called uh, test connect, whatever. No, you you're you are right. Don't let's not fuck with that. One. Oh, did nobody get the door? Can somebody get the door? You got it? You got it, bro? Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I totally. I heard it. I just, I totally assumed we're not actually doing it. All right. Give me just a second. I've got to write the Ajax for it. Do we have another connect function? We're just going to call this connect B just, just to be different. Uh, do you use the passing information or just call? Well, it? I'm not, I'm literally that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to call this in here. No, do you need it to pass any information from the web page? No, oh, no, not from the web page. I just oh. just the on click. So uh, when the when the button gets clicked, it calls this function. Oh, but then I need the output return back to the screen.
That's what I need. <laughs> it's in chat too, me too. So stupid. Oh. Oh, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to call Maine in this instance. Because this isn't in the actual function of it happened to time this running though. I hate when you get that like, dirty feeling after we do something. It's just like, nope, I'll be good. I try to wash it off coffee, probably not. Only because we gotta call the function and not main. I know Mark, I'm messing up the code. You're like, what the hell is going on? Well, as long as you don't push it, that's fine, you know. <laughs> Well, I mean, not, well uh, th this we will have to, because like I said, we can't call it out of main, so it has to call this create VM. You know what okay. I'm saying? Okay, so to, it's, an, it's an indirect thing. You're actually importing that. Okay, that changes. You see what things. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because. Yeah, yeah. And okay. then I got to hit a return right yeah, Okay, that changes a whole lot of the way things were going with that then. So it's not a standalone yeah. script yeah, that's but, called on its own it's actually called by a different script as opposed to via command line so yeah that exactly. does change things but uh i didn't know that ahead of time so well that's what i was trying to say this is so what we're doing right here this will be that hard-coded thing that once again we just have to keep calling not this particular one but whatever one we call connect right it might be this create one, whatever it doesn't matter but the boto will call this run all of this right hit a return and then that's how the quote unquote information and we, of course we're going to return more than just the connection right hey go to your um your thing in the app.py your function Yeah, I haven't even put it in there yet. Okay, yeah, you need to set your uh, methods for Git as well. Say that again. I need to set my message. Methods. So if you take a look at one of mine, like deploy or teardown. So mm -hmm. we're not using post, right? Because I'm intercepting the call with AJAX mm -hmm. and using a Git. Okay. So in the, uh, take a look at, scroll up just a little bit. Oh, look, it just imported it and done. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I said create V. Sorry, I'm sorry. I got too excited for no reason. All right, scroll up and, sorry, scroll up. I'm scrolling. Uh, yeah, on? slow down. No, 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 oh, no, sorry. fast. Sorry. Uh, right there, you see where that says def deploy methods equals git? Yeah. Near the uh, bottom there, you need to copy that. Just copy that methods equals get part and put that in your parentheses for your uh, define um, instance create or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, for the route. Yeah, yeah. Mine should be. Uh... The answer is always. Sweet. No, 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 no. That's the uh, that's in the route. You need to put that uh, in the definition. So when you define create uh, methods equals get. Okay. So that's gonna get to the button. Is that? Uh, yeah. And you're not passing any data from it. Uh, you're not going to render any data just yet. I need to see what you're returning back. Oh, do we need to see that like on the command line? Uh, yeah, I'll have to see what uh, what it's what it's trying to do. But your create v didn't import. Uh, fucked it up. 
I'm not even trying to do the script. I'm do the connect. Yeah, right, right, right. It's it's what you found out, right? It's what we have to do. We have to do this whole thing, right? Wait, did I comment those out? What? The. That. Oh, you know what? I think we can do this. Where the fuck is this back in? I think that is the best direction. I don't know. Yeah. And what was it? Uh, they're scripts. Uh, and all of these um, partitions going to be all single box. All right, sweet. All right, now let's see if that works. Saving. I saved Graham. Are you happy? I would. Why didn't this? What you think? Well, did I do it right though? I'll do a pull for my button, but I'm, I'm, I'm messing up my. Create VM. Yep, I'm fucking it up. <sighs> I know, Mark. I had to watch it yesterday. It's rough. Oh, watch <laughs> me stumble. Oh, no, no, no. Just watch you uh, go through the code and just let me backspace, backspace this or let me add this. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, it, so much to clean up when he's done. Oh, uh, you know, no, he he takes ownership of the code now. You know, it's not my code anymore. It's his code. He touched it last. You it, know, it's, it, it's I, I've, it's done, I've done code. I've done my part. I don't know about you. It's like I, I provided the already part. I'll be over here um, researching. Yeah, <laughs> it's look, okay. this this code's like Soviet Russia. This is this is our code. Yo, know, is that how? Oh, it's our code. <laughs> well, you don't want to do something. I get it. Exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Well, yep. Yeah, get it to a point, but at the same time, this is similar to what I was saying before: is we're trying to get into a state where it just Correct. works yeah. without a point, and then we need a way forward to actually clean it up, um, and preferably yes. in a way the next time, because I'm certain the code revisions like this are going to happen again. Preferably in a way where. The code revision won't be moving heaven and earth. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh yeah, get it to work, uh push it up, and I'll look at it. And after I'm done crying, I will fix the code. Well, well again, this is yes. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like Graham said. Don't cry. <laughs> but uh you you are correct in that. Um oh yeah. So the one that you'll quote unquote have to fix is the template one, right? You'll take this one and merge it with the template. But yeah. this piece right here specifically, I don't know. Uh, I, I was really going to ask you and have you. I think this is something that it could already be, because to your point, we're going to pull this out of the, the database, right? And then that should be something that we pull out of the database and pass every single time, right? We're just yeah, doing yeah. this. Yeah, host could probably be hard coded without an issue. I don't think yeah. that's an issue. The problem is the security of why we need username and password to be not obvious is the important yeah, yeah, thing yeah, yeah. there. So yeah, having that in the database and that would be a separate probably function in the include file where 
it's just literally get password, get um, get username, and it's literally a um, SQL call up to the database just to grab that, and it should be simple yeah. enough. Um, if salt's involved, then they'll be uh, decrypting and whatnot, but we'll see. Yeah, we're gonna need associate it to a host, though. Also, a oh, host is fine, but um, is host always gonna be the dot three? Correct. Okay, then we can leave that hard coded because that's yeah. not a security problem. Correct. Yeah. You know, so, well, it's, it, yeah. isn't it? Do you think it's a security problem that we well, actually have to obscure it? I mean, we got the dot twenty seven down there and all some other stuff as well. If it's yeah. security issues, then all of those should be in the database. Um, and we literally would probably have some way of just literally calling up there and grabbing all the stuff. So if we well, want to play that, you can think about that if you want. But at the very least, username and password should not be sitting there hard coded in the file. The host will be in the database either way. That way, so we can have a plain text file to call it by, right? So we'll like yeah. grab everything from this table where host ID equals 10.10.10.3. Right, and then uh, we'll return those username and passwords, decrypt those, and then pass them. That works. Yeah, I like that. Yep. I'm gonna do a quick pull, and then, oh wait, I gotta do a commit first. Yep, commit the code, push it yep. up, mm -hmm. and I'll do a pull, and I'll look at the code and be sad. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm waiting for this to come back and then we'll restart the server and then we'll test the function and then we'll call it a day. All right, so we're renaming the sandbox day. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, understood. Or maybe instructions unclear. Rename server. Rename server. Done. Come on, push. Let's go, baby. Huh? Yeah. You see the you see the cursor blinking? Oh, I wouldn't pay attention to that. There we go. All right. All right. Now start the server. Uh oh. What? Hold on. That's definitely a works on my box thing. And that file <laughs> should be able to be included yeah. because it's in the same folder. So this is definitely a weird pathing issue with the IDE. And I guarantee you uh, a VM name generator is going to have the exact same problem. That sandbox included. So uh, one minute out. Uh, combating a mat is not going to be a good idea because it's going to break everything because that's where all the little helper functions are. You can see all, all the stuff turning red already. What turn red? Anything that has sandbox include <laughs> in front of it, because that's uh, all the important functions that I didn't want to actually have sitting in that file itself, because they're repeated and used through the other ones. Oh, uh, um, oh Graham, Graham wins again. Ding, 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 ding. All right, add that then.
That's how Graham won yesterday, too. Two days in a row, man. Keep it up. All right. Graham's the winner. Graham gets a cookie. I don't know if you're in the ass every time. Yeah, yeah. He literally bit us yesterday. He literally bit us yesterday. All right. So that's uh, just cool. adding an include a. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in it. Just in it. The double, un uh, double entendre. The double under. Oh, wait, does that mean we need to have a class for it then, or? No, 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 no. No, it can be blank. You just need to include it in every folder that's going. It's just tell Python to look there for uh, imports. That's it. Let me put my headset on so I'm not yelling across the room. <laughs> okay. I wonder if you were yelling at me. Yeah, that's is, that so is that something you could just add right now and push it up? Uh, I mean, Ron can do it right now, right this second. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. That's probably the easiest way because I think, like, I don't want to make that change and push up while you're making oh, no, a no, giant no, no. change. <laughs> because, yeah, he only has to add it in back end scripts. That's the only place that needs the uh, init pie because the scripts folder already has it. Yeah, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is um, everything's good. Just you just dropped it in. No, 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 no. Just add it. Is what we're saying. That way, so you don't have to do a pull, push, all that, all that. Just add the file for the underscore underscore. Did you not already? My bad. I, I thought you already did it. No. Oh no. My bad. You want <laughs> I, me to do it? I, I can. I, I, you won. You didn't take your prize and claim. You did. You did. You did point it out. Hey, I got, I got a lucky ticket. I'm like, all right, cool. Come over here to get the lucky ticket. You're like, nah, I ain't coming up there. I just got the lucky ticket. No. <laughs> I know. All right, cool. Help me out. Where is it? Scripts. Here we go. Back in. All right. Yeah. Sweet. All right. But I, I'm still confused, though. I'm still going to do the git, though. No? No. Why not, though? You can do a push if you want. No, I got to do an add. Well, you have to do an add, Dad. You got to add the, uh, the init file. You got to kill me. Oh, look, I use GitHub for desktop, OK? I don't have to do any of that. Oh, yeah. I, 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 thank you for answering that, because I'm like, what the fuck is that going to do with anything? <laughs> got it. <laughs> yeah, I just click a button, and it does it all for me. Then ask me what I want to say about the file. All right. Now can I do a push? <laughs> True world. True world, world, baby. All right, let's go back to Python. Thought I was closer than that. Uh oh. Womp womp. I'll go in the sandbox. I thought it said, yeah, we know what you're talking about. Is this safe? Oh, did I not save it? Is it me? Oh, shit. No. That was safe. That's crazy. It literally just worked. I, um... uh... I feel like this is going to turn into a works on my box problem when I get the hell out of the code. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm thinking, is this import not working? I don't see anything yellow. I know I'm going kind of fast, but. Okay, so that's working. So what the? F um, on the other end of that import, do you know any of the actual functions in there? Wait, wait. Uh, the the ones that I have right here. And yeah, for the sandbox create VM, do you know any of the uh, functions? No, but let's let's look right quick. Uh, no, just that create one. 
Uh, but I see what you mean. Just put them right here. Uh, that's what I was going to do next. Just to see if it started to auto populate. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to do next. Uh, create VM is one and create config spec at main. Well, we don't need main. That's the thing. Like, we can get rid of main. You need main if you're going to run this by itself, right? We we need the functions, and they need to have a return. If you have a function with no return, you ain't getting shit. That's why I said, that's why the, here's our return. And it's create VM. But what I was, yeah, function. Yeah, so if the create underscore VM can be put there. So weird. And you know what I'm saying? It, it went. Oh, wait. <laughs> Did I mess these up? No, I, I think I did. I know I did. I did this wrong. Yeah. That should be the def, hey? No. It, the the def doesn't matter. But you do have the methods in the wrong spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, re I realize that as well. I guess what I'm trying to... Let me fix that while we're talking about it. Ah, oh. here, here's what is going on. There we go. Create VM is from from here, right? Yeah. Okay. Connect uh, uh, V should be call and create VM. You yeah. might need to import that. See, that that's that, I don't like, need to import. I don't need to import this because the method is here. Create VM is what I need to import, and it's right up here. From create VM. Okay, so it's importing everything like that. All right. That's you fine. see what I'm saying? Create VM and then create yeah. VM. Yep. All right. Now let's save this. Yeah, let's try again. Still saying no. Okay. No module named sandbox include. No module. So where's sandbox include? Is it in this PyCache? But yeah, it's not in PyCache. It will be. Yeah, I mean, because when you call um, create VM by itself, it can find Py include because it's in the same folder. I'm willing to bet that because it's not a module and it's actually just a raw file, it's getting pathing problems mixed up, which is a common issue with Python, unfortunately. Wait, hold on, but it's saying. Let's, re let's read the error again. Sandbox include. Yep. Let's go here. So I don't have any pathing issues. I just ran it. Um, can you take oh. a look at app.py real fast? Yeah. I'm directly importing only the create VM module as that's the only one we're using. And not the star? Correct. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Remember, I said I thought that might be a problem, but it shouldn't. That shouldn't be it. So you're saying you did that and it works? Yeah. So okay. I did the create VM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Again. And then scroll down because there was a spelling error uh, when you were calling oh. it. 
Okay, you fixed it there. Oh, here? Yeah, but you are going to get another error because it's expecting something that we're not passing. Yeah, you're not passing any of the parameters to it. Oh, you, we shouldn't have but to. But actually, yeah, you could probably remove all that. Yeah, Although you're say. going to have a problem without the SI because you're not actually, you probably need to pass the connection. No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's still, it's going to yell at you, though. We're faking it. Oh, okay. We're faking this, so uh, okay. It, it won't. It won't yell. We won't care. We won't care if it screams. Bam. All right. But you are correct. That is what we would need when it does actually work for real. All right. It'll work now. All right. So, so that's what I'm saying. My other one's not going to work either. That's why I was saying, like, oh. I, I was testing that out, and obviously it's not going to work. So remind me to change that too for keep it, well, even though we might. Yeah. Need. For right. some reason, it doesn't underline them, but it never calls them. Well, when you don't put that there, it does. That's the crazy part. Well, anyway, fuck it. Let's go because we got to go. We got to get up out of here. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. I love. Huh? Yeah, you're right. Huh? There you go. That's so weird. Uh, I'm really, I'm lost for work. And you're saying it's working on yours, man? Yeah, I'm only getting the Bodo errors from you trying to do the import everything for our Bodo 3. So I'm just looking to figure out where that is now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, right here. Remember, that's why I was saying earlier that... Uh... Yeah, I just don't know what you called it. I'm just going to comment out the Bodo section. Yeah. It was in the Bodo online, though. Uh, Bodo online. And it was create keep here. It was create keep here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But no, do you remember, that's why I said, ah, I got it. That doesn't work. So, got it. I didn't realize it was killing it. But if yours is working, I'm going to erase mine and then do a pull. So just let me know. Hey, no, it's not working. Yeah. Even after you do the create keep here. So the sandbox include. It's in the same folder. It's right here. Oh, uh, I, I know what's wrong. What you see? Dot uh, back end scripts dot uh, sandbox include. Oh, are you thinking that we have to import the imports? Because <laughs> it's already important from another file. You're saying from that file we have to import another file? I get where I get where you're about to go with this. Obviously, the answer is we shouldn't have to do this. We are doing it.
that can't be right because I mean this thing is literally working from which doesn't really make any sense for me because I think am I not oh yeah yeah it's not in there hey some scripts CD the back end. <sighs> and you're saying this, it doesn't work when you do the scripts dot back in? Uh, sandbox create via. So yeah, it's not the uh... It's not reading the sandbox include. So we're using get object, wait for task, get vSphere connection, and do vSphere disconnect. Oh, uh, yeah, we need all of those. Yeah. yeah. Let's see something. This is in. What was it? Sandbox scripts, back end scripts. That should resolve, hey? Should. Or was it scripts? Do, do we? Yeah, it was just scripts. It's going to go too far. There we go. I M P O. Oh, I was like, what? I know I can't spell, but damn. There we go. Maybe. Yeah, so they need to be switched to this. Um, do I have a way to send you this? Uh, where's the Teams chat? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Is yours working? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Oh. It needs to be switched to this. Okay. So get rid of mine and, and pull yours? Uh, no. So you're still going to run into issues with the with the SI and stuff. So, and I haven't pushed either, but oh. I, I can show you. Well, wait a minute. Why are we going to run issues with SI? Because it's being called. Content equals SI dot retrieve content. Well, we can comment that out. Well, sort so. of. Oh yeah, this is become a way more of a headache. So I'm going to go ahead and commit this and close those files, import and reopen them back up, and then I can come over there and we can talk to Mark and I can show him what I did in order to get him to work. Wait a minute, hold up. You don't have a working copy now. You just said the sys part is failing, correct? But the SI part. Yeah. So it's it's going to be for all of them. So as soon as you fix that one, you're also going to have to fix uh, import VM name generator. Right, 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 right. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, well, you're going to have to. Nope. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, well then it's not going to work. 
That's correct. That's not going to work. This one is going to work, though. You are correct. Uh, not that one. Where's my other one? Good. Oh, no, no. This one. What the fuck is the one I just did? Server code. Here we go. Set up environment. Here we go. Nope, not that one either. Where the fuck did I put it? Ah. You know what? I'll just I'll just fix it. It's fine. Thank you, Graham. Well, uh, again, that's a well. I need a long term fix. You know what I'm saying? Th this is a long term fix. It's, oh, okay, it's yeah, how yeah. it's being imported. Yeah, it's fully an import problem with the IDE. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Again. Yeah. It's, so when you switch it around like that, and we're now including the the init files and all that you have to do a from and then you can import the actual thing so let me i i fixed both import statements you must not have been watching that's what i did i did it from but let's let's look at yours okay i'm uh committing to main whoop, whoop. i'll do a pull i'm uh, doing a push one second Okay. Let me just get rid of mine so I can do a, a clean pull. Line three module. Am I good now to do a pool? Yeah, but it's still not working. Wait, the from part or? So both. So when you did your from, you did from scripts dot backend underscore scripts import. Yeah, and yesterday that worked when we did the one, the Boto Connect. Well, yeah, so I was doing it with the actual full Python file, but that's not working for whatever reason. Yeah, it shouldn't be the full file. You know what I'm saying? The dot pi. Mm -hmm. Like the name of the file is create compare sandbox create. You know what I'm saying? But it should be without the dot pi. Yeah. And I don't know uh, why this isn't scripts back end B A C K E N D underscore S C R P T S dot sandbox create vm oh wait where did oh uh the idiot i gotta do a poll <laughs> oh god What? Out of curiosity. But I just did get removed. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. Get full. Come on, motherfucker. Yeah, baby. Jesus. Okay, sweet. All right. What? You have concluded your marriage. 
Uh, you, pr you probably tried to merge and it said you had conflict resolutions and now you have to go through that entire insanity. And I hate trying to resolve those so much. No, but we're good. And then what? I'm going to be full. All right. Oh. Uh, I don't want to publish my commits. Crap. I want to get rid of my shit. Ooh. You need to pull a previous head or previous thing before you did your commit there. I don't need to do remove, remove, and then do pull? I don't think so because you'll delete the file, I think, completely with that. I don't think that's what you want to do. Okay. Yeah, I. Uh, shit. He might have deleted the file he worked on for a while. <laughs> but maybe not. I don't know. It says I'm good. William Cree, right there. What are you talking about? Y'all fucking with me? <laughs> mm. There's app.py, right? Well, I'm not in the right there. Oh, my God. Okay. Maybe I need to. Copy exactly what it says. Um, yeah. Okay. So now I think I'm going to do uh, what, what head. How do I know where I'm at in the head? Do I? Uh, you do a get head. I think it'll tell you uh, where oh, you're where sitting. I'm at. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was just going to go to our actual code and. Yeah, you could do that. You could actually just walk back there, find the um, actual yeah. commit um, right location, do a get pull. On a, that I literally head. was going to do that. I was like, man, yeah. this. I'm just going <laughs> to. That's that's doable. I think you could do a get tree. You know, that might tell you uh, some stuff, but it depends on um, a few I factors. I can go to where uh, Grant was. And can I pull from here, though?
It shall. Okay, so head is the thing. So how do we know which head? Head is named. Head is the branch. To commit, at the head is currently pointing to, and usually at the tip. Check out, Brian. I don't know, sir. Only maybe because they have that big meeting tomorrow. I guess. Um, but then, uh, hey, I missed a shirt on Sunday. Shirt said Monday, so I don't know how to spell it. It's Friday, Tuesday. I know for that, we'll do that. Yeah, fuck this. Anybody got time for this little shirt? I've been trying to get off like for the last few years. Cheers. Let's go. Let's be. Let's be. Hey, so I just got to hold it. I didn't close the folder. Let's let get up out of here. Just have uh, you can you can love the house. He'll be um so let him in the house today and just come on the phone. Happening to me again. So, um, yeah, just turn it off. Like, if you can at least stick on until it's on. Yeah. So, yeah, you can do that. And I'll take it off. I'll be sure. Fuck yeah. Please. Okay, it looked like it's up. I thought you said it wasn't working. My bad. Right? No. It's like not working. Working. Got it. Only I can hear you too. By the way. <laughs> I can hear. Me. Yeah. <laughs> so I know they can hear. Me. All right. Hey man. What up? You, you have your own test button. Where at? Right here? It's it's at the top of the... No, I didn't do that, whatever that is. <laughs> okay. I like how you I like how you quickly claim that. We're good. All right, where is it? Here? It says bronze test button. I love it. So we didn't... It looked like it's working. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Can you see it? Well, is there supposed to be something that pops up after I hit the button. It's calling out to your um, function in app.py. So if you're returning any, it got really loud. So if you're returning any in there, then look at the printout. Uh, how do I close this folder? Uh, Oh, all right, sweet. What? You're in the, the wrong one. This is the one you deleted. I could have swore. Yeah, this is the one you deleted yesterday. And then you created the all inside the code. Oh, that's not where I was at. Uh, I don't think so. No, apparently not. Aha. Uh -huh.
All right. Why is this even talking to me? It's your source control. No, <laughs> right. I wonder why is it saying something's going on? It's broken. I, I think it's searching. It says it right here. <laughs> All right. Wait, so which one is it? This one, right? Yeah. Oh, we're not calling it a function. No wonder. Wait, was it create or connect? No, it was connect, right? Well, this one we are. With this one we are calling it. Is it in? Is it in the wrong spot? Are you looking at my shit? I'm looking at your stuff right now. But that's what I'm saying. Like, is this in the wrong spot? Yes. Because you're calling create, right? Huh? Maybe, maybe not. I forgot what I'm calling them. It's so long. It's all good. I'm gonna hook it up. Ron. I'm calling create. Okay. So I didn't have a function in there. Okay. I'm about to do right now, though. Bam. I mean, that made sense. Yeah. But um, is, is it on top of instance? Is this right? Is the rest right? Browse right. Uh, Get, uh, create VM. All right, click play button. Okay, I am. Uh, after I click the play button, what I'm gonna need next is like how to get it in the. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! You see what I'm saying? The uh, like an alert, like a pop up. It'll, it'll. Fuck, no. dude. I, I don't, I don't know what it'll say. I think it'll say something to the effect of like. Connected, you know what I'm saying? And are you returning that to app.pot? Currently, right now, I'm just returning a string. Yes. In real life, we're gonna have to can we have to return a connection object. Yeah, but uh, it, we'll have to train that all the way from the create.vm yeah. wherever Python that resides. Right. All the way to app.py, and then from app.py to the Ajax. So that's the part that I'm I'm asking just for this part. Because it's just a string that that's returning. So the object one that we need for long term, not today. Just so I asked how to from Ajax uh, grab that string that returns from a Python function. All right. While well, Graham hacks on that, let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, Graham's going to have to hack on that. Yeah, at the house. I'm with you. Yeah, we're both going to be running up out of here. All right. Let's hit this test button and yeah. See, something's something's holding it. Uh, so I have a on success. So it's successfully calling right. the create function. Yeah. So it's going to reload the page. Cool. But now you need to look in your console for what you're receiving from app.py. Ah, look at you. Here's the little grand talking about. That's the ball, yeah. No, 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 not there. It's not there? In your um, CMD. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, Here's, you got it, got it, got it, got it. That, that. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was going to be something more gangster. Yes. I, was, I was hoping for more gangster. Uh, I don't see it, homie. He's talking about it should be in here. Yeah, then it's not returning anything. Huh. I think that would be the... Uh, I should definitely return something. Yeah, your return right there. You need that for Python, but I'm not grabbing that return. What do you mean? Are you are you not grabbing the function return? I'm not. I'm not using it in the Ajax. No. Oh, got it, got it. So, so you'll, that's why you will only see it there in the. Uh... But I'm not in the console. I know what you meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm not. I understand yeah, could you? I mean, back, trace it all the way back to the phone. Uh, I was definitely yesterday when we were doing the Bodo one. 
Um, you're right, because when you said that, I was like, oh, yeah, right. We saw that in there. No, I could have swore I actually saw it on, you know where I saw it? Uh, when it had actually aired out. So let me real quick, because I actually like this idea, too. All right, let's go to network. Let's clear it out. Let's click my test button. Boom. It does call the create function. But to your point, where the fuck is it returning? It's not because I'm not pulling anything else. Uh, but it's calling a function. It should. When you say you're not pulling it, I don't. We literally just saw it called create. You know what I'm saying? Oh, is that the web page? Is that what you're saying? No. That's the app path. Got it. So I'm not doing anything more right now than just calling the app path. Got it. On a successful app path call, then it just- Wait a minute, wait a minute. So it's not even doing this now. No, because that's, that's all on app.py at that point. So he called the function. App.py knows that, hey, I need to run the stuff in this function. I just made it to where the front page doesn't really care whether or not app.py runs the function. So that's why I'm saying you should still be. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. You did not get a return from the create method in app.py. Got it. You just make sure the route works. So when you go there, it's actually something. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Great time to stop. All right, fellas, man, this was great. I really like this, man. We might have to do this two, three times a week. <laughs> um, oh God! Yeah. Oh no! Oh you, no! You, you can't, you can't face judgment that that, that many times in a week, Mark. <laughs> well, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to correct my code uh, at that rate. <laughs> like I fixed everything. It's like all right. Just... Uh, real fast because I I think it only goes to the actual people that are logged in for AFS here. But uh, you saw how I imported the uh pythons for the uh, sandbox right go to it this is what we're talking about no on the sandbox um include or where wherever we were at no okay we create create yeah. underscore vm Sorry. okay no worries sandbox oh, okay. include was the one that i had to no do worries. but that's how i was uh getting them to work their mark Aha, aha. Yeah, because, uh, right, awesome. Yeah, that's fine. At this point, though, I've resolved that these won't be runnable um, by themselves anymore, that we're integrating them into the full system. So attempting well, to run that script on correct. its own just will correct. not work. So that's fine. I mean, we don't have a main anymore, so. Well, we're, right, we're, right. But the main, well, I should say the main's in app.py. Oh, I know what you mean. I'm just saying that, um, testing just that one script to see if it'll run not exactly something we can do anymore we have to go through a bigger um one. yes correct correct well correct and now that you said that uh, we need to make that still a functionality though know? but you are correct uh, uh, i mean you can just put those back and then comment out those and just switch back and forth well that, I, uh, that's one way to do it it's just little, you could write uh, a python script that uh, automatically comments out the ones that have the uh, periods in them and uh uncomments yeah. the other ones that's what i was thinking to have like a test connect and actually have a real connect um oh, man yeah you know it just calls the other function one with yeah. one with the loaded i anyway don't worry about that all is looking good uh how are we doing any more questions fellas come on we're gonna wrap this bad boy up Nope, just make sure you update the uh, the PowerPoint slide with uh, oh, yeah, 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 the full yeah, thing. Yeah. And, I'm going to and make sure you commit and push uh, your code if you have made any other changes since that last push. Thank you. And yes. Yeah, that, that's it for that. And I'll continue looking at the Bodo stuff and we can. Um, whoop, whoop. Yeah, and I'll look at the other scripts too and change them around to uh, at least follow what we have so far. Um, and then we'll play around with the stuff later next week when we get into the office to make sure the thing actually runs through completely. 
And once we got like confirmation of that, then I'll start trying to clean up that code. And we're probably going to have a lot of discussions on how to fix the code in such a way that it's not going to be um, completely overhauled every other week. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Again, yes. There's uh, anything else, fellas? That sucks. All right. I will see everyone on the morning call. Au revoir. Bye bye. See you guys. <laughs>